terrifying moment. A fallen tree sent patrons screaming for their lives during the second round of the Masters. Augusta National confirming that no one was injured via statement. Amateur golfer and vital sensation Harrison Crow of Australia was playing the nearby 16th hole with fellow countryman Man Wu Lee when the towering Georgia Pine crashed across the 17th tee box and sent two more cascading at Augusta National on Friday. Crow's parents, Tony and Sean, were among the patrons who escaped amid the dramatic scenes as later flash lightning caused havoc and the suspension of play. Harrison Crow was quoted saying they were on the other side so that was lucky, I was on the 16 green, about 30 meters away. We heard it. We watched the whole thing. It just started crackling and then it came down. It was scary, it was. The frightening incident left Crow's mother Sean Agro shaken, she said my heart was up in my throat. First you heard this almighty crack. I looked over and saw this big tree toppling, then you see it falling onto another tree, then another and my first comment was, fuck. Because people were sitting there and I didn't know where everyone else was, and my husband Tony and the boys were 10 meters away from where it happened. So they didn't actually see it, they heard it. Everyone is just screaming, because it's just like, this hasn't happened. Everything just stopped. Crow's coach and Caddy John Serhan said it was a miracle no one was killed. Tony was 20 meters from it. I shot myself. You could feel it down there. This little tornado looked up. It didn't last long but it caught those trees, he said. You could see them start this way. They were lucky no one got killed. Very, very lucky. Crow's father said he watched the tree fall in slow motion. The worst part about it was all the security guards after the fact said you need to get off the course because more trees are going to fall down, he said. Serhan's son Joseph said the frightening ordeal started when Crow's group was approaching the 16th green. We got this huge gust up in our faces of sand and dirt, he said. We thought here we go. As soon as we got out into the open, it was blowing harder and we could literally hear this crack. We all put our hands on our head and heard a bunch of people screaming. There was about 50 people sitting down and it was literally falling where people were sitting in their chairs. People were falling out of their chairs on the ground and crawling to get away. From where we were, we thought for sure they were going to get hit. You had zero chance. There was a lady that froze completely. The trees fell perfectly between her, there was about a meter gap either side of her. Crow's mother commended Masters officials for their swift response. You just saw green coats. Everyone turned up within two seconds, she said. Then the security guard called out and said no one has been hurt because, to see that, we were thinking someone has just been killed out there. No joke, I looked at Harrison and he was standing on the green and he put his hand on his mouth as if to say, oh no. I needed to get up to just ask Harrison is he okay. By the time I got up to the clubhouse, I was in tears. I ended up having my asthma spray because, like seriously, I couldn't cope. The tournament, which was suspended at 4.20 p.m. local time, and later abandoned for the day, issued a statement to confirm that no one was injured during the incident. Augusta National Golf Club can confirm that no injuries were reported from three trees that were blown over. We will continue to closely monitor weather today and through the tournament. If you enjoy my videos and find a value in them, it would be great if you would consider supporting me. See video description for links. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe. Oh, <laughs>